Mrs. Lenaula uh, has with Mr. Ndwiga. Mr. Ndwiga, if you look at uh, Article 38.2, every citizen has a right to participate in elections. How then do you reconcile that with uh, your argument on Article 89? Because constituencies don't vote, citizens do. So again, prisoners, persons in the diaspora, how are they be, to be provided for if we are to follow your line of argument? Uh, my next uh, question was to Philip Murgo. Uh, I was draw drawing a chart when you explained to us that um, y y what you're telling us is that in the evidence that you have is that the Form 34 w went into the Kimskit at the polling station to the constituency. Then between the constituency and the public portal, the Form 38 numbers were changed. They were changed in that sequence, if I'm to understand you. Now, um, I don't understand much about ICT, but I presume that at the polling station, when the Kim's kit uh, takes the image, these forms are written in handwriting. How can you explain then, so that I can understand, how a form can be changed in handwriting? This is not typo, typing, it's in handwriting. All these forms are being uploaded and changed, different people's handwritings. How, how does that happen? For Ms. Soweto, uh, she's not here, but since she, we'll answer later, I was curious about the issue of voter repression and her arguments on that. Uh, if we look at the Constitution, Articles 136, 177, 180, they, each of these elections are separately provided for. So you have the presidential election, which has its qualifications, nomination process, even the dispute a resolution process of a presidential election is separate, the governor is separate, the member of parliament is separate, the MCA is separate, and what happens when a voter goes to vote, they get six ballots. So it's six ballots into six ballot boxes, what we have then is six different elections, but on the same day. So if your argument is voter repression, then is the voter repression only to the presidential uh, election? Or is that an argument that can be used by an MCA in Kakamega County to say that because the gubernatorial elections were canceled on that day, my MCA votes have also been affected? Or, I mean, is it just the presidential election? that the voter uh, repression, suppression argument is standing for, or is it all? Because they are all separate elections. So how does one election affect the other? Uh, I